So today I'm going to be demonstrating on how we can quickly add a Juniper router to GNS3. GNS3 makes it easier for you to learn how to use the Genius OS, uh, which by the way, Juniper has done a great job by making it consistent across all their platforms. So it's quite simple. The first thing you need to do is to make sure you have GNS3 properly set up and linked to your GNS3 VM. Also, you need to have a virtual bus downloaded and installed on your computer. If you have done that, then head out to uh, the internet and download the Junos OS. You can get that from the Juniper website or from any other uh, website for that matter. And uh, I'm just going to double click on it. I downloaded the OVA file. You can, you can find it here. So make sure that the one you're downloading is the OVA file. If you have um, virtual bus already installed on your computer, simply double click on the Junior's uh, OVA file and it will be opened in virtual box. So mine is here, opened in virtual box. So I'm just going to uh, edit the name. Click on import. Juniper uh, router is now imported in virtual bus. So I'm going to head out to GNS3 platform to import this virtual machine into GNS3. So here in GNS3, I'm going to click on edit, preference, virtual bus VM, new, then you click on next. Add the Juniper virtual machine from virtual box. Apply and OK. Scroll down to find the Juniper router that I just added. So here's the Juniper router. I'm going to right click on it. Go to configure template. Go to network. Then I'm going to increase the network adapter. Check the box for allow GNS3 to use any configured virtual box adapter. Apply. Now I can drag the Juniper router to my workspace in GNS3. Power on the devices. My devices are ready to be configured. Default username is root with no password. You're going to be taken straight to the free BSD Linux platform. So you type CLI to take you to the Junior's uh, command line. Here in Junior's command line, I'm in operational mode. So I'm going to go to global configuration mode, private. So right here, I will be configuring my interface. And the interface I'm using here is EME, EM0, we can quickly check that with the command show interface task. So you can see that EM0 is up because that's where I have the connection established, but there's no IP address assigned. So I'm going to quickly assign an IP to it. So I am going to set the root password first before proceeding to configure the interfaces. Now that I have the password set up, I am going to go to interface EM0 to assign an IP to it. So I am in interface EM0, so I'll assign an IP to unit 0.
so I we'll have this IP assigned so here is the IP I might as well just add a description to the interface I'm going to exit exit back to the global configuration mode and commit my configuration so this is done for uh, the first router so I'll go to the second router to do the same thing root CLI to go to the journalist platform so I should just I can check the uh, addresses on the interfaces show interface stars you can see that em0 has nothing assigned to it although connection was established on it that's why you can see that it is up so i'm in global configuration mode we can set the root password have the password set so I go to the interface to assign an IP to it back to operational mode you can see that this IP 1.2 has been assigned to unit 0 under EME 0 so to test connectivity 192.168.1.1 is the IP address of router 1 and good enough we can reach router 1 so that's how quick and easy it is for you to set up your uh, Juniper router in GNS3 and carry out your initial configuration. Please, if you're yet to subscribe to this channel, please subscribe and share this post, like and share. Thanks for watching. See you in my next video. Thanks. Bye for now.